I'm John Green, and I was red air today. <laughs> That's my game plan. Next slide, please. <laughs> I want out there in the Diglo Orange F4 with the bullseyes painted on the wings. Are there any uh, Eagle drivers in here that, that did not get a chance to shoot me? This Marine felt it necessary to remind everyone not to jump to conclusions until the matter is completely checked out. You know, I, I don't want to start pissing contests here. Is Tom here from the, uh, from the Weasels? <laughs> Tom is a guy that uh, two days ago, you know, like I said, I don't want to start a pissing contest. But he put it up here on the wall that uh, the only thing dumber and a hundred dead chickens is a marine. <laughs> this play, and I, I took exception to that immediately, but I, I didn't want to say anything until I checked it out. You know? so, <laughs> so we went out and we got a hundred dead chickens. <laughs> and we sat around for two or three hours and talked to them, and I don't really think that <laughs> Finally, it was decided that only courtroom procedures could resolve the debate. Now, the gun camera validation. We were up here about uh, three weeks ago uh, fighting with the Biter Weapon School, and they tended to invalidate all our gunshots playing as bloggers because we don't have a gun camera. And uh, yesterday I got into an engagement. Uh, I probably shouldn't have gotten into it, first of all, because I was looking at my lead. He got engaged on, a, on an F4, a lizard F4. And I said, Roger, you're engaged, your six is clear, and his rear answered back, no, we're getting gunned by an F5. I said, okay, your six is clear with one minor exception. <laughs> I know we had different kind of airplanes out there, so I thought I'd get engaged, and I was, you know, I, I got my nose bullseye, and I said, I'm really not supposed to get into this because of an F5 and an F4. But by that time, I was ballistic anyway, so I was in there. I did get a chance, as a blogger, to gun this guy, and I know you guys aren't going to believe that, so I thought, well, we don't have a gun camera, what else can I come up with? courtroom, if they don't have a camera, what they come up with is, can I have the next slide on the right, please? An artist conception. <laughs> okay, this is my conception of uh, frames one through four of my gun camera. Okay, can I have the next slide on the right, please? Okay, as you can see, he's getting a little bit small here, so I am pressing it in now. Next slide on the right. He's really starting to move the airplane. <laughs> really good movement on the F5 here, trying to get out of guns tracking. Not doing a real good job, I got the pepper right on him. Next slide on the right, please. Like I said, he's moving the airplane around the line. <laughs> and of course, uh, next slide on the right, please. Learn two, three good things last night. Uh, you locked to a 130 prop. And that could be a good Klingon cloaking device because uh, on our uh, on our radar it shows you doing nine G's all the time. We said that guy's going. <laughs> this guy's going 300 knots and pulling nine G's. We'll never get him from here, you know. <laughs> I saw the RF4. Uh, we came in, uh, shot the RF4 a couple of times. We were in pairs, running at him and. Uh, I thought I'd be cool and smoke around in the back and shoot him uh, in the rear end there with the Lima. And uh, about the time I said Fox 2 Lima off on the RF4, he popped all his flares. I came off with my eyes covered. And, <laughs> and uh, I was about right in here when that happened. And my wingman right up here says, there goes my night vision. I said, boy, you should have been here if you thought that was bad. <laughs> so uh, that's a pretty good uh, technique. If someone's back behind you, they'll just blow their face off with your own little stuff. <laughs> the Royal Saudi Air Force also returned to Red Flag this year and flew with us. They also debriefed their activities at the daily mass debriefings, which proved to be most interesting for the rest of the participants. Slide <laughs> A tape recording of the jammer's efforts to disrupt the Blue Force communications was very interesting. Where are you at, Rob? We're on the west side of Forsyth. Yeah, go 
Channel 7. Pack your... an idea again that uh, perhaps we're affecting the comms. Com Several search and rescue missions were conducted and air crews were trained in ground as well as water SARS. The training elicited these comments from one survivor. They uh, were not aware that I was in the area, so there was an authentication problem. They uh, did not have my question and answer sheet. As a result, they did some real good thinking. They had the SAR card. They asked me to add the numbers in, uh, for example, uh, okay, uh, what was my call sign? I don't remember. Bark 1-1 one, one had the numbers in uh, Brown Freak, the first two numbers. And they went through a series, and I got three out of uh, four right. <laughs> and, uh, so. So. But they weren't satisfied because I did miss that one, so... Uh, and they were determined at that point not to pick me up, so they tried one more thing. They said, flash the color code of the day, which I just picked up as I was walking out of the survival shack. It was blue, and I flashed it at six miles away. That was one of the lessons learned. The mirror is excellent. To skip over a few here, they picked that up, and it was blue, and they decided, okay, we'll go in and get them. But they said, what happened to you? And I said, well, and you don't want to do this. You, want to use, you don't want to use the technical lingo that fighter pilots are used to, because my answer was... Uh, a gomer mistook me for a, a grape, and I was assholed by an SA-7, and uh, subsequently uh, was vaporized. So they didn't understand that technical fighter pilot lingo. So you want to use some simpler terms they're familiar with. There's lots of food in the desert. I'd never saw so many animals in all my life in one area. We brought two snakes back, a rattler and, a, and a something else, and, and there's... there's there's little bugs and insects and, and all kind of good things to eat running around. <laughs> but, but there's very little water. Very little water, and that's all I have. Another A-7 pilot had these comments for survivors and assessing the possible need for authentication late in a SAR effort. I came in to pick up one of the survivors. Uh, it was a 106 driver. We got the Sandys in the area and the helicopters, and uh, I was, my fuse was about that long by then anyway just in the pickup phase, and he wants to authenticate me before he'll pop his smoke. So I said, pop your smoke or I'll leave your ass here. <laughs> and apparently I burned right on through the jamming, and he took it away. One survivor was amazed.